Bom dia, good afternoon, good evening, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi Tahutu, and yes, I am the guy that four years ago sold literally everything he owned together with his family, his house, his companies, his cars, everything. And we went all into Bitcoin and started traveling the world. Four years later now, guys, coming to you from Lagos in Portugal. In today's video, of course, bombing you with some really cool Bitcoin charts. One chart is the halving chart. I really like that chart. You want to see this one. And of course, also talking about the Didi Bam Bam indicator because we made some profits yesterday. Again, not a lot because I went Christmas shopping with the family. I hate Christmas shopping. Don't tell them. But, you know, that's why I only could do one or two trades, but you'll see it in the video. In the blockchain news part, I read something about the banks. And I want to educate the newcomers in this industry. So in the blockchain news part, I will talk about the banks and Bitcoin and what you really need to know about this. Because there is a huge important thing you need to understand. And that is why I will spend the blockchain news part to that part. And we will end the video by talking a little bit about the family, of course. And what we have for Christmas plans for the small Bitcoin family, the five-headed one. But also for the huge Bitcoin family out there, including you. So make sure you watch the video till the end. Because you don't want to miss out on the thing that I want to tell you at the end of this video. Enjoy watching today's video, guys. BAM! Filming with a DGI this morning again. It's like foggy. It's foggy. Let's go to the beach. Let's see how it looks over there. Wow, that looks really strange. I've never seen it like that. You can't even see the sea. I hope the wind and the sound is good on the DJI guys. I couldn't take my telephone this morning because it was empty. It was not uh, loaded this night. Something went wrong. Luckily, I have this DJI Osmo. And luckily, you, a lot of you said in the last video, you, you really liked the quality of this one. So, good morning. <laughs> Let's see if you still like the quality of this one when I walk. At the beach, foggy, strange. It's almost as cold as Holland. Nah, it's like I think 10 degrees, 12 degrees now in the mornings. In the afternoon, it gets warm like 20, and the evenings get cold again. Because you guys all prefer this DJI footage, um, I ordered myself the selfie stick for the DJI because now I'm holding it with my arm. I don't know if you can see it, yeah, like this. Oh, yeah, and my really cool Bitcoin uh, sweater, hoodie. Um, I'm holding it with my arm now and it doesn't, it's not like comfortable, but there is a selfie stick for the DJI. I ordered it for Christmas for myself. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because Jesse always says, Daddy, Santa Claus doesn't exist anymore. You are Santa Claus. She finally found out that Santa Claus doesn't exist and now she's like, Daddy is Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho. So I bought myself a selfie stick for the DJI. Now I need to figure out in the future how I can, um, handle the wind sounds with this DJI. So if you have any idea on how I can reduce the influence of the wind on the DJI Osmo Pro Pocket, DJI Osmo Pocket, yeah, that one, then please comment down below and let me know what I can do against the wind with this beautiful tool, DJI Osmo Pocket. A beautiful view again, cloudy a little bit, but the blue is breaking through already. But it gives this sea a beautiful, like magical, I don't know, look the fog, how cool. I hope this DJI is like filming it as beautiful as my eyes are seeing it, because this is like really strange. Let's do it different this morning, guys. Of course, we're going to start with the Bitcoin TA part, the part where I bomb you with really cool charts, this part, BAM! 
but on this part today I'm going to start with the DD BAM BAM indicator because I want to share with you how much profit we made yesterday and how easy it is to use the DD BAM BAM indicator and why so many people already signed up in this month and why they are using it every day guys because they are making profits with the BAM BAM indicator at least if you watch all the educational videos and read the manual and join the discord group where we will coach you you will be able to make some profits on this chart I will show you the chart of yesterday. You can see how much profit we made. This chart. Bam! We only did one trade yesterday, guys. Why? I need to do Christmas shopping with the family. Ugh. So I only had time to do one trade. I entered the trade in the morning. I think it was around 9 o'clock. I took a little bit more risk, you know, because I was able only to trade once. I said, okay, let's trade with 250 US dollar and let's take a leverage of 20 instead of the very safe 10 leverage I normally use. So I used the leverage of 20 on 250 US dollar. It was an 80% long, it was only a 4% increase, but because of the leverage of 20, it becomes an 80% increase. And that took the price from 250 to 400 US dollar. And now you're asking, but why did you stop this trade? I stopped this trade because at that point, I think it was two o'clock, we went to do all the shopping. So I needed to exit the trade. I could have used a trailing stop loss as well, but at that point I just decided, okay, let's take the profit. It's 155 US dollar profit. You know, I can shop a little bit of Christmas presents for the kids for this. So that was a 150 dollar free Christmas presents. I think the kids will be very happy this year because I could spend some extra yesterday because of doing that very profitable trade between nine and two before I went shopping. That was the only BAM chart I wanted to share with you guys. Bam! I only did two trades yesterday, guys. Like you can see on this chart. Bam! And I used a leverage of 20. 20! Diddy, you're crazy! You normally lose, use 10. Yes? But I didn't have much time to trade. I felt a little bit bullish. I said, ah, let's take a risk before Christmas. So I traded with a leverage of 20. To prove I did these trades, guys, I will add my Bybit stats so you can see that how I traded on Bybit on these charts yesterday. The first trade I entered at 22,766 I think with a leverage of 20 and I created a 90 dollar profit so I ended up with 375 US dollar. Then I went shopping guys, I didn't have time to do another trade. At the end of the day I did this other trade. When I came home again I took the 375 dollar, again did a 20 times leverage. I entered the trade around 23,500 and the trade ended up in 475 US dollar. So in total it was a $100 profit and in the morning $90 profit. So like with the increase of the Bitcoin price, it was a $200 profit in total on this shopping day for me. So that made shopping a little bit more easy and more cheap for me. So I could add some presents to the list of the children because I made a $200 profit by using the DD BAM indicator. It is a really cool tool to use to make some profits. No profits guaranteed. No, and all the results we made in the past, another guarantee for the future. You know, all these sentences that all the financial advisors have given you in the last couple of years. The same is for the Bam Bam Indicator. It's a beautiful tool that if you use it in the right way, you will be able to make some nice profits over there. But it's not a miracle. It's not going to go automatically make you millions of dollars. It is a tool, nothing else. And we will coach you in using this tool so you minimize your risk and you optimize your profits. That's the only thing the Didi Bam Bam indicator is doing. Bam! Now let's take a look at the Bitcoin charts. Let's take a look at this first chart, a four hour chart, this one. Bam! On this four hour chart, you can see that the huge support is 22,500 US dollar. As long as we don't fall below this level, you can see this horizontal yellow line. As long we don't, as long we don't fall below this level, we are very bullish. We are still in an uptrend and yes, we could be still creating a new all-time high. The current all-time high is around 24,300 US dollar. We can even create a new all-time high of 26,000 US dollar, maybe on the 26th of December. What a beautiful Christmas present it would be. But like I said in yesterday's videos, there is some futures that are going to expire and I think 2.3 billion US dollar on the 25th. And there is a lot of stuff going on in the market at the moment. So we don't know, maybe we will see a dump, Maybe we'll see a pump. We don't know. We don't care. 
because we already are happy with this huge bump we already saw in Bitcoin from 9k like a one and a half months ago to now already 24k guys there was a huge run and like always I expect after these huge runs that there will be a correction but there is only one but this time and this but is called institutional FOMO and this institutional FOMO is that feeling that you are feeling as well every time again you see Bitcoin increasing in price you think oh, should I buy now should I buy now I should have bought I should have bought a month ago I should have bought two months ago I should have bought ten years ago uh, I'm missing out on this bull run this feeling is now also living among the institutional investors institutional FOMO they want and don't want to miss out in this bull run they see huge institutions like Grayscale, MicroStrategy, Mass Mutual. they see them all buying Bitcoins and now all the other institutional investors don't want to miss out so that is the only but because if you look at this chart BAM on this chart you can see that Grayscale now is owning 13.2 billion US dollar worth of Bitcoin they have been accumulating Bitcoin all the year like you can see in these candles on this chart you can see them increasing increasing that is their hodlings in Bitcoin at the moment they hodl 567,600 Bitcoins or something 567,000 Bitcoins that is a huge amount of Bitcoin that Grayscale is holding and they are making a shitload of profit because their investments in the Bitcoins are way lower than the value that the Bitcoins have at the moment. And this is exactly what all the institutional investors, what all the bankers, what all the pension funds, what all these huge companies are seeing. What? Is Grayscale making more money with Bitcoin investment than a normal job? What? Is MicroStrategy making more money with investing in Bitcoins than doing their normal job? What? Is people now buying Bitcoins because they need to sell Bitcoins to all the clients that want Bitcoin? What? 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 <laughs> all these what's go into these heads of the institutional investors. They will be like, oh my God, we are missing out. All these huge companies are doing it. We need to do it as well because else we will miss this boat. We will miss the gold rush of the 21st century called Bitcoin. That is the only but why I think we don't see these huge corrections at the moment that we have seen in the previous bull run. So that is the only difference. I need to get used to look at this camera instead of the screen because the screen is below the camera. I keep watching at the screen. You must think he's looking like uh, he's lo he's like losing. We say in all of <laughs> but I need to focus on that screen. That one, not that one. That one is more. That one. Yeah. <laughs> I need to get a little bit more used to filming with this DJI because I keep looking at this bottom screen well I'll need to look at the camera <sighs> strange thing check how beautiful oh it's blinding me bam I'm testing the camera so that's why you know I switch from the screens and the settings and sounds and how the light is like influencing the image but it's doing okay it's doing okay it's beautiful again I need to turn the camera because now you can see Lagos coming out of the fog. This is awesome. Check it. Sorry, man. It's like I need to show you guys. Can you see it, guys? Completely at the end. Oh, what's going on? Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. You're nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where's the ball? <laughs> the dogs are nice. <laughs> but can you see at the end, guys? Can you see what is happening over there? Completely there. You can see the city of Lagos rising out of the clouds. I can't see on this small screen if you can see it, but it looks really, really beautiful. That was enough uh, image testing, Didi, for today. Uh, you're a Bitcoin blockchain live guy. You're not a DJI Osmo Pocket promotion guy. They didn't even sponsor me this thing. I need to buy it. Ha! Why didn't you give me this thing, man? I'm making cool ass videos with your equipment. You should, you should send me some really cool equipment. Maybe the new DJI. This is still the old one. I'm filming with the old one. I'm making promotions for you guys without that you send me stuff. Oh, you should give it. <laughs> okay? The dog really likes me. But where were we? Oh yeah, I know again. We were at the... Why are these institutional investors now FOMOing out? Probably because of this job. This is the secret job. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> well, that's like clickbait. This is a secret chart. You need to watch this. This is a secret. Which influencer sounds like that? Let me know down below in the comments. But this is a chart where they might be experiencing FOMO. Check this chart. Bam. This is what we call the halving chart. Every candle is the candle in the year after the halving. Now let's take a look at the first candle. That one started at the zero. It had a high at 29 US dollar and it closed at 12 US dollar. So in total it went like times 29 from like one to 29. That's a lot times 29. Then let's take a look at the second halving candle. That one opened at 12, it peaked at 1132 and it closed around 650 US dollar. So from 12 to 1200 is times 100. 100 times 12 is 1200. So that was a huge halving candle again. Then let's take a look at the third halving candle. It opened around 650, then it peaked all the way up to 19,600 and it closed around 8,500 US dollar. That was the third halving candle. Now let's take a look at the fourth halving candle, the candle we are now creating. This candle opened around 8,500 US dollar. At the moment, the highest peak was 24,300 US dollar, and now we are around 23,500 US dollar. This candle, this fourth one, is not closed yet. But like you can see in the previous bull run, guys, the one of 2017, we opened around 800 US dollar, we closed around 19,600 US dollar, so that was times 30 from the opening till the all time high was times 30. Now the opening of this candle, the fourth candle, is around 8,500 US dollar. Let's say we do it 30 times again. If we do 8,500 US dollar times 30, we end up around 250,000 US dollar. If we underperform and we and if we underperform and the peak in this green candle, this fourth halving candle, will be times 15, we will do 8,500 times 15. We will see the plans B chart around 100,000 US dollar at the peak. That doesn't mean we will close at that level, but that is the peak level we will reach before closing a little bit lower again. Maybe we close around 25 or 30,000 US dollar. We don't know. But the interesting thing on this chart is that if we would create another huge candle like the previous halving candles, the previous three halving candles, if we would create another huge candle, if this fourth candle will be another huge candle, then it would need to go much higher than we are at the moment. So that would mean we can see the Bitcoin price still at the moment going times 5, 20, like 20k times 5 is 100k, or even maybe times 10 to 200k. And this is the chart, I think, why these institutional investors are, are experiencing FOMO. They are analyzing the markets. They are seeing what is happening. They are reading these charts. And they see like, wow, if there is a moment that we need to step in, the last moment is now. Because then again, after this bullish year, we will see some bearish time. We will see a pullback, maybe even again a year or one and a half year of a of a, of a consolidating Bitcoin price around 20k or whatever. We don't know yet. Maybe around 30k. We don't know yet. But they don't want to miss out on this huge run to the peak of 100 to 200k. And that is why they have FOMO. That was enough charts for today, guys. Now let's jump into the blockchain news part because else the video will be too long again. Bam! In this blockchain slash news part, and that is now why I don't like the DJI, because now it looks on the small screen that is really dark. Uh, but Diddy, don't focus on the small screen, focus on this camera. This is really difficult. You just have always a thing that you're watching the, the screen, and normally you just watch your telephone, and the camera on the telephone is on the same level as the screen. And the DJI, the camera is not there, but the camera is up there. So it's, it's I need to get used, but, <laughs> but you probably don't give a fuck. <laughs> I, I look at these details and the people that watch the videos are like, man, shut the fuck up, talk about Bitcoin. <laughs> we don't care which camera, which camera you're looking at. <laughs> we only care about the information you share and uh, the beautiful sounds of the waves. But this part is really important. I read an article, guys, about the banks. 
the ban banks are now massively jumping into Bitcoin. And why do I want to spend time by talking about banks? Because for all the newcomers, I need to make something really clear. Because a lot of people are so positive of these banks now joining the industry. And don't get me wrong. It is not that I am not positive. Because I want all these people all over the world to have access to the Bitcoin. My primary goal is all these poor people all over the world that have no access to the bank account. But of course, it is Bitcoin and we can't exclude the other side as well. And the other side is still using bank accounts. So if we want to get those people into Bitcoin, we need to do it through the bank accounts. So yes, we can't do discrimination in this sector. <laughs> if we want to help the poor, we should also be helping the rich a little bit, you know, because they want to have access to this beautiful asset, Bitcoin, as well. But the thing I want to talk to you about is very important. If you buy Bitcoins using your bank account, guys, that is completely different than buying Bitcoins in any other way. If you buy Bitcoins with your bank account, you will probably only be possible to hodl your Bitcoins at that bank account. This is what the banks refer to as custodial service, which means, yes, they give you the opportunity to buy Bitcoins with your banking app, but you cannot send your Bitcoins to any other Bitcoin wallet. And that now is exactly the power of Bitcoin, that you should be able to transact your Bitcoins in any way to anyone whenever you want without being stopped. And if you hold all your Bitcoins in a Bitcoin wallet on your telephone, you will be able to send your Bitcoins to literally everybody in the world that has a Bitcoin wallet. You don't have to verify the amount. You, you can send how much you want, whenever you want, to whoever you want, because you are in full control of your Bitcoins. The moment you trust your bank, your Bitcoins, and to hold all your Bitcoins as a custodial service, you won't have these features. Yes, you can use Bitcoin as a financial tool and buy them with your banking app and sell them against two euros when you make a little bit profit, but that is not what Bitcoin is about. And that I think is a very important lesson that we need to educate the noobs, the newcomers into this market. Not your keys, not your Bitcoins. If you don't huddle the private keys of your Bitcoins, it is not your Bitcoin. It is the same like your normal money that the banks huddle for you. You don't own that money. You borrowed that money to the banks and they can do whatever they want with it. And yes, in normal circumstances, you will be able to get that money out of the ATM machines. But we also experienced circumstances in Greece and Cyprus where those banks didn't allow you to take your money out that ATM machine. They froze the money on the accounts because they needed it to save the country from going bankrupt through, during a crisis. And that is exactly the moment when Bitcoin started to exist. So that is also exactly the difference between holding your Bitcoins on a bank account or on a ledger. <laughs> Not the ledger that will be hacked, but maybe another one. On a hardware wallet. It is very important for you guys to understand this. They are in full control. You are not in full control. When they can freeze your Bitcoins, not your Bitcoins. If anyone else but yourself can freeze your Bitcoins, it is not your Bitcoins. Maybe that is more clear for you guys. If you hollow your Bitcoins in a place that other people have control on, they can freeze it. They can delete it. They can stop you from taking your Bitcoins. Then it is not your Bitcoins. And that is why everybody in this industry is always talking about these beautiful hardware wallets. Because in these wallets, you have full control on your private keys. Even software wallets on your iPhone that give you full control to your private keys are more safe than a bank account, in my opinion. But that's because I saw what happened in the past with all these bank accounts all over the world. It happened many times before that these bank accounts were just frozen, guys. They took control on your money, on your hard-earned money. And that is exactly why I'm in this industry. That will never happen to my Bitcoins on my wallet. 
to my bitcoins on my phone, to my bitcoins everywhere in the world. I hold my bitcoins here, I hold my bitcoins there, I hold my bitcoins fucking everywhere. That is the Bitcoin hodl song. But with everywhere, I meant not at the banks. <laughs> So I should have changed the song. I hold my bitcoins here, I hold my bitcoins there, I hold my bitcoins fucking everywhere, except the banks. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Guys, that was the only education I want to give you. And the last part will be the family part. The family part is about our family. We are going to celebrate Christmas in the next couple of days, of course. After Christmas, I have a special guest coming to our family. Really cool. Um, you will see it in the video, who it is, and if he wants to be shown in the video. But he decided to visit us after Christmas, and I'm really, really, really looking forward to seeing him again and uh, to having him over as a guest, as a part of the Bitcoin family, of course. The huge Bitcoin family is growing day by day. And yes, we are taking huge steps over there as well on the Discord servers to professionalize the service there. It's already more than 1,000 family members discussing about Bitcoin, blockchain and life every day again. So it is very important that we now keep the level of service. The first step we took is adding some moderators. Thank you guys for helping so much. And yes, we are still incentivizing people to help each other by giving them family tokens and by doing these cool games where you need to answer questions about Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and then you earn family tokens. There is many cool things you can do on the Discord server and we will soon have a kick-ass announcement around Christmas on the Discord server. Um, because I think all the Diddy Bam Bam family members that own the Bam Bam indicator will really like this announcement. And then in the new year, we will have another kick-ass announcement that will make you even more happy, I think. Happy, happy long time, like we say in Thailand. But um, I'm not Thai, by the way. I'm, I just traveled to Thailand a lot of times, and that's why I say happy, happy long time, many time. I make you happy, Mesa. Come here, give you beautiful life, beautiful wife, all that stuff. But... The announcements I will make around Christmas, you will really like it. So make sure you sign up to the Discord server and join the Bitcoin family over there because we are there to help you with all the steps you want to take in Bitcoin, Bitcoin, blockchain and life because that is what it is about. Didi, you talk too much. This is a too long video again. So I'm going to end it. I want to thank you for watching today's video again. If you did enjoy the video, please give the video a thumbs up, share it with your family and friends, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment as I love to respond to your comments. Thanks for watching today again and hopefully see you tomorrow again. And yes, tomorrow I'm doing a live in Dutch with Madeleine Vos, with Madeleine Vos and Herbert Blankenstein. I think it's on the Dutch radio. It's at, yeah, I think it's live on the Dutch radio show. So tomorrow there will be a live. I think somewhere in the morning or somewhere there. I don't know the time anymore. Um, just check my uh, social media, my Twitter and all everything. I will post a link to the interview tomorrow there as well. Always remember guys to zoom out in Bitcoin and to zoom in that live. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day even if it's a fog rising out of a city or a city rising out of the fog these are beautiful moments enjoy them to the fullest because that is exactly what life should be about thanks for watching and hopefully see you tomorrow again bye